Hello everybody, uh, slightly different video to usual um, today. I'm not really going to be featuring any particular tree or tr groups of trees or species of trees. Um, today I'm wanting to do something about a perennial problem that I had in the last few years, um, which is vine weevil. And I've nearly lost a few trees uh, to the dreaded beasties. And um, I did use some nematodes uh, in the spring. I just bought a small pack I thought would be enough and uh, realistically I don't think I did use enough. I have had well, I've caught a couple of adult vine weevils um, and disposed of them in the traditional stomped on manner um, but for this autumn I've chosen to use a much bigger pack um, this company is just one that produces them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape or form. There are other companies that produce these little nematodes. Um, this says it will treat up to 100 meters in the ground, um, which equates to uh, 20 watering cans, 20 5 litre watering cans, whereas the, the smaller pack I used um, would only do five packs of uh, water, uh, five watering cans, which meant I eked it out amongst my trees. This bigger pack, and I'm a little bit disappointed that they don't do a halfway size. Um, this bigger pack do 20, which means I can give um, oodles to all my pots, including the ones in the front garden that aren't anything to do with bonsai. Um, well, you know, we've got some some big pots out the front with some big shrubs and rhododendrons and things in. Um, you know, autumn bulbs and stuff, so I'll be treating them as well. So I'll have plenty to go around. Um, and, uh, memory serves because I ordered it a while ago. It comes in this package, uh, which you have to keep in the fridge if you're not going to use it straight away because these things are alive. Um, it was £35, I think, for this big package, which. Um, for some peace of mind, you know, I think it's not too terrible. It's better than losing a tree you've been working on for many years to vine weevil. Because well, you don't know it's there. That's the thing that I hate about it most, is insidiousness. Um, especially when they eat them over the winter and you think the tree's fine. And then it doesn't wake up in the spring. And when you look at it um, and check it, there are no roots. Um, just those awful little grubs that have been eating the roots all winter long. Uh, apparently vine weevils, the fluid, would, it, would you call it blood? I don't know, fluid, internal fluids, um, has a kind of antifreeze in it, which means that the pot can freeze solid, um, but it doesn't kill off the grub. And uh, it'll just sit there. And then during the day when the soil warms up and the roots defrost they'll just go back to munching so yeah so you have to dissolve the entire contents of the pack into a bucket containing 10 litres of water which is what I've got here I've already measured that out um, how to get it out there we go so I don't know how easily this will dissolve we could be here sometime as I say these are these wee beasties apparently swim through this water in the soil and uh, enter through whatever orifice is uh, vine weevil have into the vine weevil um, and basically parasitize it and kill it dead. Now, um, I've heard conflicting devices that are the best time of year to do this um, and so I've opted to do spring and autumn because I've heard spring and I've heard autumn apparently the life cycle is um, such that the adults tend to lay the eggs over the summer uh, which then hatch during the winter time or over you know autumn and into winter and then the grubs feed on the roots all over the winter time before um, emerging as adults in the spring uh, now a guy I was listening to on one of the radio gardening 
filling programs just saying that the best time to do it uh, in his opinion is the autumn because that's when they're the grubs are freshly hatched out um, and haven't really been feeding yet which makes sense but also they're at a much more um, much more vulnerable to these nematodes so it's easier and quicker for them to keep uh, to kill them uh, one downside with this stuff is it doesn't remain in the soil um, especially with bonsai soil it's going to get washed out eventually I would have thought I don't know how good these little nematode worms would be at clinging on um, when you're watering repeatedly in the summer months but obviously it won't be watered so much uh, over the autumn and winter that's another reason why it's a good time to do it uh, but once they've eaten all their available food which is fine weevils um, they die they, um, so you know you'll need to repeat treat and eventually you'll kill it or kill them I don't like to I don't like to use chemical sprays unless I absolutely, absolutely have to. I mean, I'm not you know, totally and utterly against chemical sprays, but uh, and if I had a really bad infestation of you know, aphids or something, I might well to resort to a spray. But wherever possible, I prefer not to, um, and this is a natural method. And uh, so that's you know, the reason why I chose to go this route. Okay, so I'm give that a good old stir, and then I will take half a liter, which is roughly there. I'm not worried if it's a little bit stronger because, as I say, this will do twenty watering can for us. with water to the five litre mark. Let's just double check I'm reading that right, that's a five litre watering can, yes. So that's my afternoon. I'm going to be using this stuff up and I'm going to give every pot a thorough drenching with this stuff. Sort of worm soup and uh, Hopefully I won't have any vine weevil casualties come spring, but we shall see. Okay, well, that's, I shan't show you me watering a pot because um, I won't insult your intelligence. You've all seen a watering can watering a pot. So in the meantime, please take care of yourselves and uh, thank you for watching.